Hello everyone, welcome to My Trip to Reality episode 51. We've just passed episode 50. If you missed it, I'm sorry that you missed it, but you know what? You can go back and check it out. Honestly, honestly now, I'm going to be super duper honest. I'm actually recording this on a, on a Sunday and I'm wearing slacks. I'm having a comfortable shirt and I'm being comfortable. Last episode, yeah, it was... It was emotional. This one, you know, <sighs> I know that I will have a shitty week. I know I will have one because I'm working um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Sunday. And this week is like we have a lot of things to do at work. And it just... I know that I will feel shit, and for these two months it's gonna come, I'm gonna work extra, which is just, like, I prepare myself that it's gonna be goddamn shitty, and I don't even feel like I'm a photographer anymore, I just, because I work so much, I, if I'm lucky I have one day a week that I can focus on my photography, which is sad, um, but you know, making progress and just keep doing what I do, of course, um, speaking about that, my second publication is out, there you go, Shuba, um, the photographs turned out pretty good, actually, um, I didn't do the failing of actually cropping them in a bad way last time, I did, with that magazine right there to my left, um, it turned out pretty good, if you're on the YouTube, You'll see. Look at the photographs. Oh my god. Um, and then, you know, it's it's the shoot with Martin. With the... With the suit. The photographs turn out pretty good. I um, The colors are good. I sent in the sRGB, of course. And that one is my favorite right there. And, uh, yeah, I'm pleased with the photographs. But, um, you know... I feel like I still have obviously a long way to go. Like the publication part is, it's nice, but I know it's only the beginning. And what I realize is like Shuba and other magazines probably have, you know, well, I, how I take it is they have like every month they have like four or five magazines releasing. And I'm coming in with the, with the magazine that's like, it's not their top work, and it's not their most proud work, and that actually just fuels me of going, you know what, let me bring out some cool shit, let me just challenge accept it, let's do this, you know? I'm not the person who is bummed out about it and just go, why am I not in the top magazine, you know? I just take that as a challenge and go, yeah, okay, cool, I have, I have more to grow here, let's do it. I always take on a challenge. I love challenges. Um, other than that, photography related, I just actually finished off my portrait uh, job that I um, did, which is like good. It's whew. I can recommend a few things when you work with clients. This is for people who are in the sort of industry dry industry industry that I am in, and. I'm just gonna talk from experience, I guess. Um, there are a few things that you should really like mention. Um, when you talk prices, for example, every single time you talk prices, you sort of have to um, take for granted that you say the price um, without, oh my God, how do you say it in English? Moms. Um, with a, you, you pay a tax percentage. So if I charge one thousand dollars, then it's actually one thousand two hundred fifty dollars because there are taxes applied. I think that's how you call it. Or it's like a fee thing that goes straight to the government. Um, so every time you mention prices, it's excluding that, like the the extra twenty five percent. In Sweden, it's twenty five percent, anyways. That's, you know, the first thing. The other thing is, 
mention the price before you start working with the client. I think that's very important. Also be very, be very, uh, how should I put this? Plan things out. So with this portrait shoot, for example, um, it shouldn't have taken a long time. And the first time it didn't, and what I mean with the first time is that I actually shot this three times, this portrait thing, because people couldn't show up and that's understandable. But um, if you're doing like a portrait shoot, try, t and if there's a lot of people, try to just have everyone at the same t day, because otherwise it just, it takes time for you. Um, like I've broken this, I've divided this shoot up into three, you know, uh, shoot shot shot retouched and then shot retouched again and then shot retouched again it's better to be done with that one work in like one day and then shoot it retouch it all and then send it out away and not just do like chunks like bit by bit uh so come to agreement with your client is very very important and just so you understand each other um and also like a classic thing is you know don't charge too little because then they sort of expect it to be bad in a way. If you don't value your work and if you don't set a reasonable price and if it's cheap, you you, you become a little bit sketchy, you know. Let's put it like this. Um, let's say that um, I can't think of anything else but cookies, okay? So let's say that cookies are $10. And then all of a sudden you see in, this, in a store that it's $1. And you go, that's probably bad. You know, she, that's very cheap. That's probably going to be terrible. It's going to be horrible cookies. It's the same thing with prices, in, you know. Uh, like, for example, my tattoo. Bam. I rather spend more than less. Because if I spend a lot, then I know that it's going to be great. Well, hopefully. Uh, you, you sort of secure that it's going to be great. Or if you do it really cheap, then you go like, yeah, if it goes cheap, I paid very uh, a small amount, so what can you expect, you know? Um, sort of like that, like that. Other than that, just photography related and in my life related. I mean, honestly, it's not a lot of things going on right now. It's just, you know, basically work and you just take it fucking day by day. And one thing that I actually noticed, and I'm going to mention this. By the way, I just need to say this. Um, Anthony Bourdain, rest in peace. Um, I didn't, you know... I didn't really follow him that much, but he was a food enthusiast and just traveled around the world. And I just found him so interesting. And it's like, it, it, sound, it looked sound like he really loved his job, you know, with passion. And he died by taking suicide, which is just, you know, it's... Last week, I talked about a child dying and didn't have a chance to live. And then this episode, you know, suicide all of a sudden. I'm a successful person taking suicide. A father who had a daughter. It's... That's crazy. Um, I mean, th that those sort of things are so beyond me. I'm like, I can't even think of having children right now. But once you have children... You're never thinking about, oh, I might take, like commit suicide. I'm not saying that what he did was wrong. Um, uh, everyone has their reasons. And depression can be such a goddamn horrible thing, you know. But, um, like, I can't even put myself into that situation. Because I guess the first thing I would think about was... If I can't live for myself and I'm depressed and I live for others, I would live for my, my, um, my wife, my my daughter, my son, you know, my family. Um, I guess, but then, you know, life is so strange, and yeah.
I'm actually, I wanted to talk about, now that I'm working more as, uh, just as the 9 to 5 job, I really, like, okay, cool, I get, I get better pay, the, when the 25th hits, I will have more money coming into my account, but that's, that's worth so little to me, I mean, it's worth, okay, let's put it like this, if I'm not getting fucked because I have so little money, I'm good, okay, I'm good, just, let me just have just enough, and let me, just give me time with photography, you know, that, that's it, that's it, um, I'm not pushing and pushing money right now because um, I need money. I, like, if I'm going to make money, it's not through that job, you know. That's a stable income, sort of. Um, if I'm going to make money, it's within photography. And, you know, I've worked extra night from June to July. I... Uh, like stupidly enough i don't know why i agreed to it but i i just said like he gave me a contract of giving me like um secure uh, a secure job um securing me for like f four days a week that i have stable like he can't remove them we have signed a contract and everything and i just felt like yeah okay you scratch my back i scratch yours and i'll i'll, I'll give you june and july i i'll work whenever i work more sure fine and I'm like, what the fuck have I done? Because it, f honestly, and I, I, in a way, I am so happy that I'm still so saddened by it. And I get a bit depressed that, like, it feels like I signed a death contract. Because right now, as it feels, it feels like I'm heading into a dark tunnel. I'm in the dark tunnel right now. And then just that little small glimpse of light at the end of the tunnel, that's the end of July. That's when I get my days, like, that's when I have my three days for photography and four days for that, you know, the nine to five. Going back to my regular schedule. And, I mean, honestly, I, I sort of treat my body uh, more poorly. If I don't feel good here, I, then my body, um, I, like, I don't, I don't really care what I like put in my body whether it's, it's right now it's a lot of fucking sugar honestly and i think it has a lot to do with how you're feeling mentally um you pick up addictions uh you worked and that day sucked so you do several goddamn twix bar you know um and it's gonna suck tomorrow also so grab a can of red bull you know that sort of thing it's sort of like those small things sort of shears you up because you had a goddamn shitty day, because you feel shitty mentally, um, and that's so fucking horrible, I mean, and I guess the good thing is that I actually realize what, I, what I'm doing, and it, it's a goddamn mistake, is what it is, because, like, okay, I'm 23 right now, but if I was, you know, 34 years old, I would maybe have a disease right now, I don't know, maybe I have one right now, I don't know, I hope not, I hope to God not, but, you know, I gotta goddamn cut the bullshit, and also what I realize is, like, for example, I tell myself, like, I'm gonna get in shape, I'm gonna work out, I worked out way more, and just being more healthy when I focus on my photography, um, yeah, yeah, I did, yeah, um, and now, it's like, I say it one day, and I, you know, grab a cupcake. Yeah, I'll start tomorrow. That sort of thing, it really roots in your goddamn mind. If you're not feeling good mentally, then you're obviously going to reflect that onto your body. And what makes me feel good? This. Like, like this is on a Sunday. Guess what time I woke up today? I woke up 4 in the morning, and it's almost 9 o'clock right now. I came home around uh, maybe 6 o'clock, um, and now I'm sitting here doing my work and then just, you know, doing my podcast in advance because I know from Monday to Thursday I'm going to be busy as all hell, so I'm recording this now because, you know, I want structure, and yeah, okay, I schedule it in advance, it, the the audio version is going to come out on Wednesday. The The YouTube version is going to come out on Thursday. But, you know, still, 
it's... I like to be ahead of schedule. Um, you know, one thing that's sad, though, is I really like talking to the the camera, to the microphone, and just sort of open my mind, just letting my mouth talk and just whatever comes out. Oh, look, that's interesting. I want to talk about that. I'm sort of interacting with myself, but it's recorded. Um, and I hope you pick up on it if it's interesting. Um, that sort of thing. Um, so it's a very, I guess, meditative, meditative sort of thing, I guess. Uh, it's self-reflection. Yeah. But yeah, okay. Going back to like... You know, if you really don't feel good mentally and you know there's a reason, and you know the sort of, you know how you can change it, then, you know, change that. And the body thing and the physical thing will come later. Um, otherwise, you're going to be on a treadmill for one week. And then because you feel so shitty mentally, you're going to jump off that treadmill uh, within day two, maybe, and start eating sweets again. You know, it's really about being happy and treating yourself if your mind is happy you're happy your body is happy um yeah uh, publication fashion um f you know i have a lot of balls in the air right now and the business side of things is one thing the fashion side of things is also another thing. The art side of things is a huge, the biggest part of it all. Um, and just, you know, it's like, what should I focus on? Right now, if I have one day free a week, what should I focus on? Um, you know, the ID card is hindering me from actually sending out invoices and that sort of thing. So, yeah. And... It's a, that's just a waiting game until I can get my passport uh, ID card. Um, I want to come do my goddamn art, and I need to paint the walls again, and I need to fix things here, to just prepare for it all. But honestly, right now, how it feels like because because of what kind of situation I'm in, I feel like you know when I talked about getting paid within the studio, hiring it out, and everything. It takes so much time, and especially if you're doing everything on your own. And like that feels like I said that a lifetime ago. That it it honestly feels like that. I know it will happen. I know it will happen. But you know, it just feels like a long, long time ago. Never forget where you started. Why did you start? That's what I love. I will always remember that first feeling of creating that art. That, that, that photograph. It was just... Oh my god, you know. God, I felt alive. And I will again. Other than that, fashion... Actually, yeah, I didn't mention this last week. That's my magazine right there. And then also... the I did a shoot with a guy called Arvid... Um, a part in the, a part in the forest and a part in the studio, that's gonna come out in uh, the cool UK magazine. So that's cool. Another magazine, Czech, and the shoot that I photographed with Casper. Um, you've probably seen some things on my Instagram if you follow me there. Nothing is up on my website. The only th shoot that I that's actually up right now is um. The one in the magazine. Um, and you have you have more... Oops. You have more photographs there. I have six uploaded. F I think four or six are published. Um, and then... If you're on my Instagram. Um, yeah. But the Arvid shoot is not published anywhere yet. Because, you know, it needs to go out in the magazine first. Same thing with Casper. But the Casper shoot I'm really excited about. Uh, I'm happy with the Arvid shoot. And I'm just, you know, glad that it's coming out. And one thing that I've actually, you know, 
thought about, like, uh, you know, there's a certain degree of, you know, s- some shoots are better and some shoots are good, but some are better. Um, I'm proud of all of my shirts because they're all a learning experience. And I think that if it's not good, in a way, I feel like, oh, so what could I have done better? And you sort of like criticize your sort of work. And that's really great because, you know, you learn more. If everything goes super good all the time, then, you know, like, how will you grow? Um, Or the Orbit shoot, I was actually... After retouching the photographs, I had a different opinion about them. I really liked the photographs, but I was like, I thought to myself, like, what kind of standard should I have, and is this good enough? And when I thought about this, um, I know I'm running it out a little bit longer, but let me just let me just you know take this. Um, what is my standard? And I was thinking about, like, do I want the fo- these photographs to be published? Should I publish it myself on my website and everything? Um, and my answer was, you know, any publicity is good publicity. And as far as people liking the photographs, just as getting my name out there, um, I like them. Some people out there maybe love them. Um, and I just feel like, as long as I'm happy with them, let them let them go out. And, you know, if I only have great photographs, uh, yes, it will scream out quality, obviously. And I feel like every group photograph is good. Some are great. But, you know, if all are great, then there's no variety. I'm not saying that you should take really bad photographs for... Um, on purpose, I mean, do your best at every time, but, you know, don't be afraid to publish it, I guess, um, and if it gets published, cool, get your name out there, and that's, that's, you know, in a way, free marketing, it doesn't cost me a lot, except time, um, Instagram marketing, I'm doing, like, a, one, one of the posts, um, yes, I'm soon gonna be done with the episode, um, I advertised, Ugh, that photograph right there um the guy when he was leaning his head uh like just stretching it out with the uh yellow um sweater and the black jacket and the red background i advertised that for a month and i guess it's okay advertisement but i'm gonna be more advertisement savvy all right, guys, a lot of balls in the air, and this week I'm moving also, so I have that to think about. I need to move some stuff right now, pack some things up, because I'm moving out. All right, guys, that's been everything for me, and I'll see you. Maybe I'll do one on Wednesday, we'll see. Maybe not, but this one will come out Wednesday and on Thursday on YouTube. Um, you can just search, you know, My Trip to Reality, um, and it will come up on YouTube. Alright guys, also if you want to comment, rate, and just subscribe if you want, that that helps me out, and if you do enjoy listening to the, my podcast, if you're actually listening to my, oh, I'm sorry, to my podcast, if you actually like listening to my podcast, it would mean a lot if you just, hey, I mean, if you listen, send me a DM going, hey, I'm, I'm listening, because I'm fine with just recording these and just having them for myself. But um, if other people are actually listening, it just brings a smile to my face. Uh, It just makes me happy to know that other people are actually listening. All right. I'll see you next week.